from Ozarks First. You're watching Color 10 News at 9 on C. And good evening to you once again this Sunday at 9. Our top story on the broadcast, a record number of Americans are falling behind on car loan payments now as more than 7 million car loans were passed due by at least 90 days according to new data released by the Federal Reserve in New York. Keller 10 investigated these reports by speaking with three local experts who deal with loans and finances. Our Francis Lynn spoke with the experts to get some tips so you don't find yourself facing the same financial fate. Francis. David, according to Forbes, there were 74 million car loan accounts across the United States back in 2003. Ten years later, in 2013, that number increased to over 81 million, and recently the number is now over 100 million. We're seeing that, I think, because with technology, the automobiles have gotten more expensive. Matt Maxwell with Reliable Chevrolet says more loans means more potential defaults. Safety, things like that, uh, the cars have gotten more expensive, and so payments are going up. So higher the payment, a little bit tougher to make sometimes. It sounds to me like uh, we have a lot of people who need to take a serious look at their spending habits. James Philpott, associate professor of finance at MSU, explains potential reasons why so many people are missing their car payments. Maybe consumers got overconfident and overreached. Um, and it could be, well, that, okay, I have this job now, but maybe the wage growth hasn't quite kept up with the spending. They don't have any money down. They um, finance for the longest term. They go out and they've decided, you know, in 36 months that they really would like a different car. And they really can't afford to do that because they're upside down. So what happens is then they're financing that car back into the price of that that new car they're wanting. So it's kind of a vicious cycle. Debbie Bills with Arvest Bank stresses the importance of doing research before purchasing a vehicle. Knowledge is power. So, you know, if uh, you have the knowledge before you go in, you're not as apt to overpay for a car or to get yourself in a payment that you can't really afford. Phil Pot says something to keep in mind is the 24 and 10 rule. The 20 stands for having at least a 20% down payment. Because that gives you a big cushion against getting inverted in the car should you see a down, decrease in the value. Four stands for trying to get the loan for four years. Not six, uh, so that uh, you can get the car paid for more quickly, well within its you know useful life period. And the 10 stands for using 10% of your monthly income on auto payments. For some people, some of those numbers just may not be very realistic, but it's, it's, a, it's a rule of thumb. Financial experts say in addition to making sure you can afford the vehicle, it's also important to budget for insurance, gas, maintenance, and all that extra money needed to own a car.